press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. It was a historic day when India's heaviest rocket GSLV Mark III carrying communication satellite GSAT-19 was being readied for a launch earlier in June this year. This indigenous cryogenic engine technology has made India self-reliant in launching satellites from its own soil at a lower cost. It took more than 20 years for India to develop this technology, but now there is no looking back. We are now planning on semi cryogenic uh, with uh, liquid hydrogen being replaced by uh, isrosin, which is called a special kerosene. LS2 being a, a, a not an eco friendly uh, fuel now. And that is going to take us to around 6 ton plus, and uh, the diameter will be around 6, six, six, six meters. That is going to be a next step further. It's called HLV. GSLV Mark III is designed to carry 4 ton class of satellites into geosynchronous transfer orbit or about 10 tons to low Earth orbit, which is about twice the capability of GSLV Mark II. For now, I think it's a pretty wonderful job, uh, at least 4 ton capacity is concerned, because uh, earlier times what we're doing is, even if it's a 2 ton satellite, we have to go to the French launch vehicle. So at least from 2 ton to 4 ton, now we have cut down that reliance on the foreign launch vehicle. And this will surely bring down the costs. Not just that, it is being termed as India's baby steps into multi-million dollar commercial launcher market on a fully indigenous launch rocket. If India could develop this Mark III, operationalize it and maybe assign one or two missions for uh, commercial purposes, I'm sure we can tackle it a lot into that geostationary market too. When the first developmental flight of GSLV Mark III pierced through the sky, it opened new horizons for India. It has set the stage for India's manned mission and has put India into the rocket club of the world. The government of India has recognized space as one of the priority sectors of its Make in India campaign, but the impetus seems to lack a clear vision. India's utilization of outer space for mostly civil benefits is being questioned and a need for a holistic space policy to include civil benefits and national security is being reiterated. Ravinder Bawa, CGTN, Delhi.